responsibility as an ambassador, it's actually written in my job description, is to protect the citizens of the U.S. who are in, in, my, in my country of assignment. And so, and, and I can tell you that my colleagues share that same responsibility. We know three things. We know that there were credible threats issued before the first killing took place. And it was on those credible threats. And, and just as a reminder, what, what constitutes a credible threat? If, um, if there are sufficient details, you know, if, if there's a timing involved, if there's a, you know, a targeting involved, and if there's a methodology involved. And so based on, on, on those credible threats, uh, the Australians, the Brits, the US, other nations have issued um, advisories. Our advisory does not say don't come to Bangladesh. It certainly doesn't say to leave Bangladesh. What our advisory says is, please exercise caution. We have reports. We have uh, 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 reports that um, that uh, uh, foreigners um, will be targeted, um, particularly if they're in large groups, particularly if they're at big venues like international hotels. We share that information with our citizens, not so that they'll panic but so that they will be smarter, that they'll be aware of their surroundings, that they'll avoid places where they might more likely be, be targets. After the first of these uh, uh, warnings or uh, advisories were issued, um, there was the death of Mr. Tavello. And this would be the second thing I'd say that we absolutely know, that the deaths of Mr. Tavello and Mr. Um, uh, Hosni, and let me just say, or Mr. Cuneo, excuse me, and let me just pause for a moment and express yet again our deep, deep condolences to these men's families, their friends, and their country um, um, for the tragic deaths uh, that occurred. Um, we are absolutely committed um, to, uh, uh, to helping Bangladesh government if it asks for help, and uh, we are absolutely committed to helping to, to get to the bottom of these uh, uh, killings, whatever their origin. But both of these attacks took place in very similar manner. Um, uh, uh, and that both of these attacks are exceedingly <coughs> unusual here in Bangladesh. You know, um, for the last four decades that Bangladesh has been in existence, Bangladesh's hospitality to foreigners is legendary. I experience, I've experienced it every day that I've been here. Um, people have been welcomed here as tourists, as workers, as family members of, of Bangladeshis, um, as aid workers. So many people have come here to stand side by side with Bangladeshis. Um, and so none of that has changed. Um, this is still a welcoming um, country. And that is exceedingly important um, to keep in mind. The, um, um, but the third thing we know <clears throat> is that your law enforcement officials and, uh, have been very efficient in arresting terrorists, including people who have been suspected or charged with recruiting for ISIL, for acting uh, on behalf of ISIL in, in, in some capacity. So these are the three things we know about, about what's happening surrounding the security environment today. Um, it behooves everybody to to act cautiously and to and to keep in mind um, uh, that there is this threat out there, and our goal is to is to run it to ground um, and either verify it um, and verify the you know, claims that have been made subsequent to the killings, or to be able to say that they are not credible. Um, and let me just add one more thing. This wasn't part of your question, but you know. Bangladesh, I, I never tire of saying this, has made extraordinary accomplishments in a very short period of time. And especially given the painful and very, um, uh, 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 the painful history uh, of the birth of this nation and all of the disadvantages that the war and the fighting created for Bangladesh. Nothing, absolutely nothing, can diminish those accomplishments. No act of terror, which affects every country in the world, no matter how developed or how undeveloped or, or less developed a country is. None of that can take away 
from the amazing accomplishments that this country has achieved. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ambassador.